My name is Corey Martinez and I am a professional BMX rider. I'm bringing my friends on this trip to go film and ride motorcycles, go camping, and just enjoy the open air. Stopping at Robbie's to feed the fish in the Keys was awesome. You know, you tease them for a little bit and then uh, they get kind of angry and they get you. Yes, that was so sick! Oh my god! <laughs> Someone give me another fish! Dude, holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god. I think almost went to my elbow, man. I only had a little bit of fish and about got my whole hand there. Oh, that is scary, scary, dude, because there's like 17 fish just preying on you. And you don't know which one's gonna jump. And when they do, it's really scary. But it's awesome because they don't have teeth, so apparently they can't bite you. That was pretty awesome. And it's probably the craziest feeling I've felt in a long time. They're big fish, but you wouldn't think they could like jump that high up. So uh, that was a surprise, but it's a pretty awesome experience too. Apparently, you can get fish poisoning from it. So the thing is, like after you're done, you have to wash your hands, and then the surprise attack you with some uh, peroxide. <laughs> now my hands are on fire. <laughs> came up on the seven mile bridge and that's when the storm pretty much just fell out. The weather is crazy down here. I don't know if we've said anything about it so far, but Hurricane Andrea is right in the mix of where we're at. And we were getting blown all over the place and when we came up to this, we're like, we gotta take a break and let the weather cool down a bit. I don't wanna go across it in this weather, but we might have to eventually. We're gonna make it over there no matter what we have to do. There was nothing we could really do. It was like the storm was so strong and and heavy winds that we had to load up the bikes into the van and take it the rest of the way. Oh! Everybody at that bar was so psyched for no reason. They're in the Keys. Yeah, they're in the Keys, they're partying, we're partying. Get prepared for Key West! West right now. Hopefully we get a chance to ride. Weather permitting, we might actually get some clips, but if not, I'm just going to enjoy the last day here. Back to Cali, back to paradise. It would have been cool to ride, but dude, it's so hot and humid, and like it always kept looking like it was gonna rain. I found a couple things that looked all right, but like we're not finding anything that's super sick. You know, it's the last day of the trip, and we really have covered some land and covered some distance and ridden a ton of stuff. So it was nice to just enjoy the last day instead of stressing out and trying to get anything done. This is one of the touristy spots I did. Pretty much, you come to the Keys, this is what you gotta check out. It's the whole area is sweet. There's a bunch of bars and shops, and tons of people walking around. It's Key West. It's all about living. Stop us now, it's the last day. We lost Garrett.
I didn't really know what to expect coming into this trip. It was a lot of miles from the beginning. When you make it all the way down to a place like the Keys, you can't help but to feel like such a bit of accomplishment. Having the opportunity to take Garrett and Tony onto this trip was really cool because I know that they haven't had very much motorcycle experience. Seeing how nervous and scared they were on these bikes in the beginning and how confident they are at the end of it, I have no doubt that they're gonna go home and try and get a motorcycle for themselves. It's really kind of opened my eyes to what I can do with my bike now. It's like a whole new way of looking at it. Don't wanna fucking do it again! It's just dope to travel with your friends and you know, we're not distracted by like, TVs in our own hotel rooms, we're just camping. Like, it's like, there's nothing to do besides sit on these benches and talk. It's dope because it's inspiring because I want to do my own trips where, you know, I take my bike and my motorcycle and go do my own thing. I knew coming on this trip that, you know, I'm not 100%, but I just want to go and enjoy it anyway. I would pretty much have to convince myself to do something because my shoulder hurts constantly, so I just have to pick and choose whether or not to deal with the pain or just let it go. Yeah. Woo. So good. That oh, that felt amazing. amazing. I think the best thing you can do if you're younger, do your own thing, be yourself. Do what feels right. Like, don't follow other people's leads. Just do what you want to do. That's what BMX is all about. Yeah. <laughs> what a beast. It doesn't take much to get on the road and to like go try to explore things. Once you're on the road, it's so worth it when you like start experiencing new areas. If you're a kid and you're riding BMX and you think your scene sucks, like Dude, it ain't even about that. It's about taking your bike other places and you know traveling and going and doing something. You know, it's like you know finding a dope crew to be able to travel with is pretty much the best thing ever. Get out there and do stuff. Have fun with what you enjoy, whether it's motorcycles, it's camping, BMX, skateboarding, wakeboarding, surfing, snowboarding, whatever. You know, just like do something that's fun. Enjoy life.